Hey guys, welcome back to Sim UK and of course welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. This game comes out in just a couple of days and I'm really excited for you guys because I've been enjoying this for about a week and a half, two weeks now. And it's such a great game, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm just so glad that you guys are going to be able to get your hands on it pretty soon in the next couple of days. I'm just looking at my knee through that little circular window. It kind of distracted me there for a minute. I was wondering what was going on. So in the last episode, uh, we upgraded um, and we had a so-so uh, a kind of catch, really, I guess. The good news is I've realised that we can upgrade right now if we go to the bank and take a little loan out. Now I'm looking at the loan interest repayments. This is 20% and this is 15%. So 450,000 kroner, considering we've got 128,000 in the bank, is exactly the right amount to buy the next boat up. So for just that, just that amount of money, literally we're gonna borrow the money to buy the boat and then we're gonna to have to make enough catch to pay the loan is obviously where we're at. But um, we'll still have 120,000 krona in the bank. Or we could go the six, 650,000 route and we'll have a little bit of play money. But it's going to cost us an extra 4,000 krona a month. Which actually, 19,220 krona is really not much, is it? It really isn't much. What might be better, I think, is if you could adjust the uh, the number of months that you take a loan out uh, that way you can pay it off quickly pay a lower interest rate that kind of thing i'd like to see that maybe that will come in the future but for now let's go 450,000 krona yes we'd like to take this loan and there have been a lot of updates today i haven't been here uh, i've been dealing with important family stuff so i haven't been here at all but um, it looks like there's quite a lot of stuff. Sharkin supports net fishing. You can purchase these at port. Sharkin also supports up to one crew member who can assist you with tasks on the boat. Find someone to hire at the bars of various ports. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I, that is kind of funny that that's the uh, that's the logic. Uh, where, where are we going to find some sailors in the bar? Obviously. <laughs> so this is looking pretty nice. I've got to say, actually, this feels like a proper fisherman's boat. Do you know what I mean? Like we're not messing about anymore. This is like proper serious stuff. We are going to take a crew member uh, if we go to town. Go to the bar. See, it's not the bar, is it? If you go to the bar, there's nothing. But anyway, maybe that's just a joke. So what have we got here? I mean, this guy is pretty effective, isn't he? Um, his repairing is good, and for us, that's probably important. His long line hauling is good. His net hauling is averagely good. 20 being the maximum. Zero, presumably zero, or one being the lowest. Let's have a look here. That's two. Yeah, so I'm guessing zero could potentially be the lowest. Maybe it is one. Everybody can do it just about. So what's this guy got? He's good at repairing. Now, pulling in the net on these boats is a, a lot more tricky than long lining. We've got four long lines. I assume we get to keep them. I'd be pretty naffed off if we'd lost those, to be quite honest with you. So I assume that we've got those. His, um, his stamina is three. His stamina is also three, which isn't great. But... His repairing is good and his long line hauling is good. His net hauling is 9. His net hauling is 10. It's got to be this guy, isn't it? I mean, he is a lot more expensive, but we can afford it. And he's going to take 6% instead of 5. But I think, you know, he's just so much better at everything, really. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go for Einar Haraldson. Einar Haraldson. Welcome to the crew. Cool. Really cool. Okay, fantastic. Let us see what we've got. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, okay, so we haven't upgraded our radar. 
So we're still f we still have knowledge about the same area. I mean, theoretically, I don't think there's any limitation to me coming all the way down here and just picking a spot to fish. I could fish all along this edge here. Total gamble, total gamble. There's a new port, uh, I understand. Just trying to figure out which one it is. Ah, this one over here, perhaps. Yes, I don't know what it's called, but uh, I think that's the new one over there because the rest of them look familiar. Or maybe it's this one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it is. It's one of those, anyway. Okay, right, let's see if we can't... Uh, Let's see if we can't get out to sea. Okay, groovy, groovy. What do we need here? I think, I think we're still haddock fishing. Uh, and the only real haddock spot we've got is this one here. And that's just not good enough. Let's just have a quick look in the port and see how much upgrading the... Oh, we've only got one 1,000 kilo storage, it looks like. Hopefully 1,000, not 500. How much is that? That's 30,000 upgrade. Let's go straight for that. So we've got 76 left in the bank. I think the engine's going to be okay. The radar upgrade is only 4.5. So let's do that and that one. That leaves us with 61,000 in the bank. Oh, a net hauler. I think we should go for that. That leaves us with 41,000. Not too worried about the searchlights. Uh, oh, I see. So you can only have long line or net hauler. Uh, so, okay, we're going to start with long line because I want to take that out. Do I want to take that out? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to take... I'm going to go get, put the long lines out first because we know what we're doing with the long lines. And that'll bring in some definite money. We can't afford to do anything else. Change the name on the boat. Yes. And we'll call this. Sim UK 2. Excelente. I can't look at it, but it's done. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Right, let's get out to sea then. Let's go to the map again and let's see how much... Oh, that's interesting. I thought the radar would expand our our knowledge of the area. Apparently, that is not the case. Well, that is interesting. So, I'm not sure why I just spent lots of money upgrading the radar, to be honest with you. All right. So, in this episode, the target is going to be... Here. Oh, man. Here. Smack bang in the middle of that hot spot. Here kind of in the middle of that semi hot spot and then I'd like to come over this way drop one there and then go to this port and unlock it and see if we can't get some jobs in so it's gonna be a busy day let's go fishing oh you don't have any baited lines oh let's just fix that little mistake straight away I'm glad it pointed that out for me so oh look we did we lost our line because we had a 500 line so upgrading has lost me that 500 line. That is really, really not good news. We've got enough. We do have enough to buy another 500 line. Have we got enough to buy two? Yeah. All right, so we're going to have two 250s and two 500. And we'll, we'll bait them equally. But that is a tad frustrating, I have to say. Oh, right. Let's check out. Oh, this looks sweet as pie. Yes, it does. I'm liking this very much. So we've got the emergency call for rescue there. We've got the manage crew. That's the new thing there. Uh, that's the that's the fuel gauge, likely fully fueled. The GPS looks a whole lot better. Hopefully that one actually works. Got a little bit of storage space. Um, <laughs> we've even got a picture of our boat that's pretty awesome okay well I mean this is awesome this really is fantastic so literally I think I explained this before oh this is nice this is very very nice I like the Sharken I now wish to own my own Sharken I am not kidding you this is wonderful oh yes 
There's one very happy man sat here playing this game, I can tell you that much. I have no idea what that's for. What the heck is that thing? Or maybe that's for the netting. Yeah, that's when we're doing uh, net fishing. Which we will try after we've got... Once we've done the long line in and we're happy with that. And there are our long lines, look at that, that's cool. In the bucket, ready to go. Our crew member's in there and I guess... I don't think we can go downstairs, no, that's a shame. So there's some steps, I assume, that go down underneath. So he's under here. We'll never see him unless he's up on deck. Okay, and there's, there's the same clock. Always the same clock, which is quite nice. Okay. Oh, she even sounds better. And I love this wooden... Um, well, I'm going to call it a steering wheel. It's probably got a proper a nautical name that I don't know of. Something else that's coming, guys. Oh, we haven't got Zoom yet. Something else that's coming is the uh, radio. You're actually going to get to hear radio, and I think you can even tune in to, like, a local radio station and uh, listen to some tunes, some weather forecasts. I would love to have real weather coming in on this. Incidentally, um, one of my viewers... I forget your name. I do apologise. I'll, I'll, I'll rectify that. I'll try and remember to put your name up in the uh, comment section here. But somebody actually works uh i can't see it now because i've gone too far but he works in a round building over there or it might be over that side i forget which now um and it, he sent me some photos of hammerfest port and i swear to you it looks just like this i'm pretty sure it's a round building just over there behind that lot yeah there it is there it is that's where he works and that's pretty awesome right i think that's pretty cool now what's this bang in front of me here we have binoculars yet? Doesn't look like it. Is that my marker or, 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 or... What is that? It's a marker, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it is my marker. That's cool. Alright, let's go full power. Let's see how fast this baby can go. Where's my speedo? So that's like eight knots. Still accelerating, that's nine. Ten. I think twelve is the most we got out of Grandad's boat. And that was only because the waves were making us go that fast. Speaking of waves. She's a very, very smooth looking ride there. Gliding over those tiny waves, let's be fair. It's not very not very wavy today. It is steering me into shore though, so let's try and hit these a bit more head on. Nice. So yeah, I mean this is a bigger better boat than Grandad's boat for sure. It's not that fast. <laughs> I mean, I think it might actually be slower than Grandad's boat, but then we did spend a lot of money upgrading the engine. And once we got these uh, lines in, I'm sure we can do the same thing here, to be fair. Right, so let me just take a look at the map. Where are we heading? We're heading this way. We're going quite far out, actually, today. Oh, these waves look to be a bit more fun. That is pretty nice. I am feeling most happy. I mean, I might be 450,000 kroner in debt, but I've got this kick-ass boat. I mean, just the fact that this is modern and clean and brand spanking new. Incidentally, something I don't think I've mentioned before uh, on the channel is that... Um, the paintwork on the outside of the boat, one assumes, I don't know if it's inside and outside, but over time it will degrade and it will start to look a bit worn and dated and whatnot. That is a cool boat. That really is a cool boat. Really awesome. Right, let's bring up these... Uh, 
the map and whatnot. Try and get some idea of where we're going. Oh, what's happened here? So we're basically heading over in between these two uh, and it looks like we're quite far from our destination so uh, I'll see you when we get there guys. So guys, um, having this being the first time I've ever taken the Sharken out, um, what I've discovered almost certainly is that this is a weak assed slow, terrible engine and needs to be upgraded quick smart. I think Grandad's boat was way more powerful than this thing. We are struggling to get out over these waves and we don't even have a load on board. So heaven forbid, when we've got a full load, I don't even know how we're going to get back to shore. Now, when in Grandad's boat, we did upgrade uh, the engine quite a bit, I think two times or something. And um, if, I don't know if you saw that episode, but we struggled like heck with a full load to get back to shore or to get back to port. And um, the, only way, the only way we got back to port was by surfing uh, on the waves. Now these waves are even smaller than those and we are struggling to get along here. I mean we're ticking over at five knots but that is max speed with nothing on board. What have we got? Uh, we've got a searchlight thing here. Cool. Um, yeah, so I mean we really are struggling with this um, little boat. I mean, it's, it's, it's better in every way, except for the engine, which is, it looks like almost it's the same flipping engine that we had in Grandad's boat, and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not the most powerful thing in the world. Certainly, I think uh, if we're going to make any more upgrades, then it's the engine that we need to focus on. So uh, yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Oh, here's a little tip for you, by the way, guys. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or whether this is a feature. But if you're walking around in first person and you're like, oh no, I need to get back to the back to the wheel before we crash. If you just go third person, first person, da -dum, there you go. That's that job done. And in fact, in actual fact, I did need to do that because we were going the wrong way there for a second. Let's just update the GPS. Still nothing on the GPS. Oh my gosh, we've gone miles in the wrong direction. Let's try and swing ourselves back on course here. Now look at this. Well, that felt <laughs> that felt like we we were leaning or listing a, a heck of a lot more than uh, or healing healing. Well, no, healing is a sailing term. Uh, I think we were listing quite far over on on the uh, on that wave then. Yeah. I mean these are reasonably big waves for such a small boat, I'd say. <clears throat> These aren't nothing waves, are they? You have to think about what you're doing. Okay, so we're nearly there, which is good. Let's have a quick look at the... Uh, we have to go third person. Again, I would very much like to have all these things accessible um, from first person. Why does he have... Oh, okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. So he's resting. Uh, there really is nothing he can do. Long line haul, hand gut. He can cook. Now, what is the point of him cooking? Oh, to boost his own energy. That's interesting. So maybe I should have had him cooking something the whole time we we're going out there, so that we've got this like emergency burger. And there he is, Einar Haraldson, cooking away. Doing some cooking there. 
Good job. I've no idea what he is cooking, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna speculate that it's gonna be a burger. I think. Right. So, uh, where is this flipping thing? Let's get the map back up. Just over there somewhere. GPS. Yeah, we got some fish here, buddy. We got some red and some haddock. But we're not quite on that hot spot. We're not quite on the hot spot yet. It's just over here. God, I have absolutely no idea if we're going to be able to haul this in, you know. I am extremely concerned that um, we won't have enough engine to get this done. All right, so... Um, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? If we go M, I mean we're smack bang in the hot spot now, so if I just start dropping lines here, let's bring ourselves down to four knots, which is the uh, appropriate kind of speed for this kind of job. And um, let's go 250s. That's one 250 in the water, and we'll uh, we'll continue over this way a little bit more, and we'll pop another one down. Now I did this once before, and it was a complete disaster. So I'm hoping for better results this time round. We shall see how that goes. But yeah, we'll stick the other 250 in here. Which is effectively a 500 line. Excellent. Okay, great. Now, what am I thinking in terms of, I mean, that's, that is a long, 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 long way away. I think we'll be better off coming down here and doing, uh, I mean, maybe even going to the port first and then come in and doing this just to break up the amount of time between each catch. Uh, I think that might be a good idea. So let's get rid of that one and that one. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Can I then... going to get complicated isn't it all right we'll do something like that i mean that's a pretty straightforward route we should be able to cope with that and uh because i've put them relatively close together maybe i can see them in first person view i don't know but we can see them on the gps so that's not too bad okay guys well uh i'll see you when we get there oh it's getting a bit bumpy now
so we are just uh, a little way out of port now. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's, it's not bad weather, but um, we are hitting the waves head on, and it's giving us uh, quite a bobby motion, which I think is uh, pretty spectacular, pretty idyllic. We just jump outside for a second there. You can see how uh, how bouncy that is. Okay, so Einar has successfully cooked himself two burgers, which is awesome. So uh, when things get a bit busy and I need him back to work as quick as possible, we've got two burgers there for him to um, to chow down on. Now, um, because he's not going to be doing anything until we're pulling nets in, he can just sit there and rest and he doesn't need to worry about anything. I am in charge of the ship. I am the captain. I will be making the decisions. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go unlock this port, whatever the heck it's called. And um, as a result of that, hopefully we'll find a few jobs that we can take on and maybe earn a few extra squids on the side. Who knows? But uh, even though we're, we're fairly close to port, it's going to take a few minutes to get there. So I'll see you when we get there. Well, <laughs> to be honest, guys, I thought we were a bit closer to the sh uh, to the port than this, but it turns out that uh, yeah, it's it's miles away. We've still got miles to go. One thing I will say for this boat, um, it's not as fast as Granddad's boat was with all the upgrades. That I grant you, but. It does seem to maintain a solid nine knots, whereas Grandad's boat was completely at the mercy of the uh, of the waves. Um, I mean, the only reason we got any speed up in Grandad's boat was because uh, is that a windsurfer there? What is that? Yeah, the only reason we got any speed up on Grandad's boat was because uh, the waves gave us the speed. Oh, there's our marker. Good stuff. Oh, is that is that a is that a killer whale? He's rather close to shore, I think. Is he not? No. What is that? What is that? <laughs> 